Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Escuela. And so, yeah, we are back here again uh, in this series wherein we are trying to build a queuing system using Blazor. So, yeah, this will be another session wherein we will continue from where we left off. Okay? So, if you have missed the previous videos, yeah, uh, they are already a just visit them so yeah i will put up a link somewhere here so that you can have a reference from the previous videos so yeah let's uh, go back to our code here uh for forgive my lighting this time around so yeah i don't i know it's quite bright with my background i don't know what's happening maybe it's the curtains but yeah please bear with me on this one so so bright in my background so yeah okay that doesn't bother you at all or a distraction for you but anyways don't focus on my on me talking here let's just focus on what uh we will do for this project so if you remember we are trying to uh figure out how we can initialize our queue service so this time around we have moved our initial code from generate page into a separate class and then turn it into some sort of a service so yeah maybe what we could do here now is uh, uh, pass this one into our generate page so that it allows us to initialize our queue but before that please uh, don't forget to like this video and uh, subscribe to this channel so that you get the latest updates from us okay so let's move on so it's time for us to i guess move this okay don't be we won't be needing that anymore for now let's just uh let's Okay, let's go back. Maybe we'll just leave the queue size. Okay, that would be our back end variable for holding our queue size. Let's just let's just comment this out for a, mi a moment here. Shift com sorry. Comment. Got how to comment. Toggle comment. Okay. okay. What's that? What happened? Oops. Let's just close this all. See what I do. Maybe we can do that. Oh, yep. Let's comment that out first. And then. In our program, we will inject our query service. So let's just put it here at the bottom, right before the app that run. App the services that add. Where do we put it? Now there's no option for us to check our service. App services dot so how do we do that now? It seems that there's no add our new service add single it's not even possible. Okay, so let's open our browser. Let's see here, yeah, there's dependency injection, then services add singleton. Somehow it isn't available. Server side services, schedule add razor components. Okay, so, Mr. Components. 
add this life time the service and and services so that seems to be how do we do that now uh somewhere let's head let's go back Add server side services server components okay Mr. common services service collection client side services oh but somehow we don't have that here anymore so ah no let's have it wrong services that add oh okay yeah always totally was doing wrong there we are not supposed to it in this app variable here the builder that's that here forgive me being dumb this time add singleton and then uh, or you can just add a type of service like that Okay, now we have added it here. Our C injection it should be. Hopefully, we should be able to pull that in here in our generate page. So let's try. Check. To service. Let's pull namespace and then service okay now we have that let's name new service short now let's try do that here now service dot generate view of size okay so it does nothing for now let's just try running it Hopefully, no errors this time. Ooh, what happened to my background? It seems so bright. Let's get back here. <laughs> we have our generate page and then click generate. And then, yep, nothing happened. So now, let us try to display the size of Q. Okay. So... Let us open up a method here. Uh, probably a property. Okay. Uh, size. Okay. Which only be giving us. Q size that should be fine so now that we have that maybe we can pull it in here so let's remove the comment this one now service that size Nothing happened, but we'll see. Yep. Thank God the hot reload worked. We have Q size of 100. Okay. Seems to be fine. Now is... Now next that we do is go back to the serve page and 
work out how we will serve a client. Okay, so let's just stop this for a moment. Then head to our serve page component. Now here we will inject uh, the queue service. Inject service. Let's pull out the namespace. Pull up service. So now we we have that. Now we there should be a way for us to know what the next uh, client is from our queue. Okay, so this time we will open up another. Uh, maybe let's do a property. Okay, let's put it next here. Let's turn it the uh, next queue in, in line. Okay, get next. Just return the uh, peak. Okay. So peak is where a way for us to determine or take a look at what is uh, next in or the first one on the queue. Okay. According to this, based on this description. So returns the object at the beginning of the queue without removing it. Okay. Just allows you to see what is on the beginning of the queue okay so let's try that and then let's pull up here at service the next right so let's try and run this again Okay, now we have, let's try generate, generate, size 100, serve, so yep, next uh, item on the queue is number one, so yeah, that's, I, I guess that's all good. Next is, we will add the code for the logic for serving that client, okay. Uh, or is that even necessary? Or do we even need this this uh, this num or I mean this page? Right? What do you think? Should we be having this one? Or uh, maybe this should be just a done button. So, if it's done, then you move on to the next, okay? So now, I guess, I should just name this done instead of, uh, yeah, done. Uh, or, sir, always be next. Uh, yeah, I guess that should be the correct one. Let's just stop this first. This name is done. Okay. Done. So, I think we need to open up another uh, method that would allow us to uh, remove the uh, current item from the queue just to indicate that it's already been done okay maybe it's as simple as that so let's add this method so let's go back here okay then done which means it would uh, remove the uh, next one or the latest one print item from the queue so now queue dot the queue 
So th with the queue, it removes the item from the beginning of the queue. Simple. Okay. So we have that one. So now we can just call it here. Done. Queue service that done. All right. And let's try running this one. So with the serve page, this would be like if you have uh, on a on establishment. This would be for the staff. Okay. Oops. Uh, sorry. You have not initialized. Error. So let's head back. Generate and then generate. We have generated new size of 100. Let's move to the serve. Next is one. And then if you click done, yep, the next would be two. Done. Three. So yeah, simple as that. And then for the customer side or the client side, we will just add another page. Okay. Oh, totally forgot. Are we in? Oh, we're not yet. Uh, almost. We're not yet. Uh, I've consumed 30 minutes for this one. I thought I have not uh, started my timer here. Just to keep this session uh Within 30 minutes or so, so that you don't get don't get bored. My that brightness background is so bright. Yeah. Just bear with me on this one. Okay, now let's add a another page component. So pages folders, right click and then add to add and then razor component. Let's just name this client. Was that the correct one? Serving now, ever. Then again, let's add this to our navigation. Let's just paste this one. So this is what the client sees. If navigate to this one, client, then let's just try running this up. You have forgotten something. That is the page directive. So uh, two directives, I mean. So at page client, and then render mode. Okay. At render mode. Was that uh interactive server? Okay. Let's just try running this one. Wow, it's getting brighter, it's happening. All right, so let's head to generate, click the generate button to initialize our queue. Then we have our serve, then we have our client. So now we have our client, so let's set up our client. Basically just show Serving Let's add Let's inject our queue service this service oh sorry at inject inject let's pull up the namespace service let's name it service here, let's just show at service dot what would get next method. All right, let's add some style here. Style fonts. Uh, font size so font weight is it okay 
Okay, let's save this. Okay. What happened? Journal. Sure. Let's refresh. Okay, serving one. And then our serve, it's next done. Client would be two. Let's make it let's make this bigger. Let's start. Five M. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. That's much better. Now, have uh, uh, separate it. Window. This one. Yep. Let's head to our serve page. Click done. To Fresh. Nope. Yep. It, it doesn't respond yet. So we're missing something here. So we should be able to respond. So some events from our queuing service. Whenever done has been uh, clicked or initiated, then we should also be getting the newest one. Let's try that. Let's make it a bit simple. Let's try a simple event for event service for our application. Let's declare event uh, event uh, survey done. Okay. Let's see. I fully forgot about this one. So Ah, yep. Yeah. Of course we need to have a type. Yeah. Serving done. That should be fine. And then and we have here, and then we should uh, serving on book. Send empty event args or event arguments because we're not passing any other any data, of some sort, or We should be passing we should be passing let's try that. Then in our client here, let's add a uh, code that would catch that event. Okay. Service. Uh, should be on initialized on initialized here service dot uh, service done. On add a sprite serve.
journey. Ah, uh, object, source, and then okay. So uh, should store the next sorry private and next client the initialized let's have here next client is equal service that get next instead of calling this code it's just show the variable client here again this one okay hopefully that should work let's try again okay let's generate size serve is client one okay let's stab try splitting this let's head to serve click done somehow isn't triggering. So why is that? Which means it isn't triggered. Serving. Let's try. So serving done should be. Let's try. Let's try this again. Done. Then should in serving done. Turn the client. Let's try a point here. Yep. This client. Okay. Bye. This client would be four. But why is isn't Hearing though. It's in the loop. It's happening. Okay. Should be something that we're missing here. Right? So is it to that hmm. should be straightforward as get next should be all state changed state has changed okay let's try again Okay, there is this. Oh, why? Ah, use invoke async, right? So let's. Close this one up. Let's try. Oh. Here. Yeah. 
so what initialized we'll be doing this on an initialized async async task it's wrong Initialized async. Okay. That it? That work? Let's try again. If it doesn't work, then I'm terrible at this. So, where's my browser? Browser. Okay. Let's try. Generate. Serve. Let's open the tab. Let's open this one. Client. Done. So the current thread is not associated with the dispatcher. Let's invoke async to switch it. Execution state. State has changed. It's changed. State has changed. Oops. No. It's already up. Let's see here. It should be. It should be. So. Initialized AC. Let's try again. See server side render buttons about custom events. Something is here. Custom events. I may need to have to look further into this one so that yeah don't uh, consume too much time for this one I'll still have to figure it figure out why that error is coming up so yeah if you have any ideas or yeah, if you have encountered this one please let me know in the comment section so that yeah we may be able to fix this one soon you have any thoughts again please let me know in the comment section uh let's work on this project together and hope that we'll be able to finish this one so hopefully in the next uh, video we are going to be done with this uh short project so yeah i guess uh Let's just leave this one for the moment and then I will get back to you uh, as soon as I have fixed this issue, this problem. I may have to do some research again for this one. 
And so hopefully next time get this one fixed. And so again, I hope you learned something from this one and I hope to learn also something from everyone. Again, in the comment section, please feel free to uh, share your thoughts on this one. And yeah, again, please don't forget also to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And yeah, uh, I guess I see you soon. And yeah, hope you have enjoyed the rest of the day. And yeah, see you soon, everyone. And thank you. Bye-bye.